So today on Store Talk, we're honored. We're joined by student athlete. Here on Store Talk, we walk in our purpose on perfect. And today's student athlete is definitely doing that. Um, a great team player, plays multiple position. He works hard. He brings it. Um, he really puts on for his team and he really works hard at all the positions he's doing. Multi-sport player, athlete. Um, today we have with us the one, the only legend Owensby. How you doing today? I'm doing good. So how did this sports journey start for you? Uh, what was your first sport you played? Um, and was it football? It was football. Okay. When did you start to see yourself uh, take off? When did you start to, you know, fall in love with football? And what do you love about football? So first is like when I was uh, like five or six years old, I used to watch Odell Beckham. He used to, I used to try to model him. Okay. What do you love about football? It separates like life from football. It's like as two totally different things, and like it just takes you away from everything. Like you like you focus on. Okay, so um, it takes you away from everything. So when you at practice, when you in the game, when you playing football, you feel like you zoned out and you just zoned in on football. All the worry, the problems, the friends, the all oh, that's out in the and, and football's main thing. Yeah. Um. You play multiple positions. Which positions do you play? I play wide right receiver and a linebacker. Okay. Which one do you like the most and why? I play linebacker the most. Okay. So you you aggressive. You like to hit. You like the contact. What uh players, um receivers do you look up to that you pattern your game after? And what linebackers do you uh look up to and pattern your game after? So first, I wide receiver. I model myself as the Decorian Moore, um, Travis Kelsey, um, Tony Gonzalez, and as a linebacker, Fred Warner, Ray Lewis, and um, Von Miller. Uh, I mean, yeah, definitely, definitely. Von Miller played for my Bills now, so he, I don't know, he keep on getting hurt and all like that. But he's a, he's a dog. He, when he's on the field, he's one that they got a double team. They got, they know he's out there. They, uh, you know, scheming. You know, when he's out there on the field. Um, what do you enjoy about playing football for Carrollton Middle School? It just, it, it like it has a, such a high standard, and. It pushes me to be the best athlete I can be. Yeah. What does hard work mean to you? It means everything. Like, if you don't have hard, if you don't work hard, then the results won't uh, appear. Yeah, definitely. Um, Have you guys played North Cobb Middle School? I, we haven't yet. Oh, okay. If y'all play them, because I've interviewed several of their players, they got a great program out there. If y'all see them, would y'all see them in playoff state, or how does that work? Yeah, we will. Um, I don't. We don't have them in the regular season, so like, we and if we make it to the championship, then we'll definitely, we'll definitely see them. Okay. Um, and you, you guys at the high school got a lot of great players. Um, even a standout uh quarterback at the ham. How is that? Because people are looking at Carrollton High School, looking at Carrollton Middle School, because of all the, you know, um, the eyes and all the um, that the quarterback is getting. Yeah, it definitely brings attention. But the hard work that's going on, it doesn't it doesn't even really matter. Yeah. What well, um what is a valuable thing that a coach have told you that stuck with you? Just not to not like say if a bad a bad play happens, don't focus on that play, just keep on making plays. Yeah. What type of leader would you say you are? Um do you lead with your play or do you lead vocally? I lead vocally. Okay. Okay. What would you say if a player came back to the huddle after a missed tackle or a drop pass and he looking down and depressed? What would Legend say to him? I would say, keep your head up. Just go make another play. Yeah. And how do you uh, um, manage playing multiple positions and what challenges come with that? It – uh, dehydration, just being tired, but running after practice like really helped me. Yeah, 
Definitely, because a lot of great players play both ways. So you one of the ones that that play it. What advice would you give to a, a smaller um, kid playing football that wants to play both positions but don't know if he can do it? What advice would you give to him? Just keep working, and one one day your uh, time will shine. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? They are the keys to the skills that you need to play the positions that you play. What skills do you need to play receiver, and what skills do you need to play linebacker? You need to play ball. You need to have ball skills, um, pass coverage, and um, you have to be able to come down and make the make a tackle. Yeah. When you first started playing, was you tackling or was you a little timid? And when did you start to really come up and boom, meet the runner uh, right there um, in in his tracks? I was timid at first, but after my like first season, I I was watching highlights and then it was like a hardest hit mixtape, and I just I it just clicked for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, and how does it feel to get a sack or to get a, a stop for yardage, uh, stop? I mean, a stop for loss in the backfield or to get a big hit? How important that is to your team, and does that get them going? Yeah, it get it gets them going. Like the crowd just. Hypes up, and then we got the advantage like that. Yeah. Um. How do you mentally prepare for getting ready for the game? Like, are you listening to music? Are you zoning in? Like, what's the vibe before the pregame? I'm just locked in, you know. Like, I'm like, it's kill everybody. Like, that. yeah. Yeah. What does family mean to you, and how have their support been, um, thus far in your your young career? It. It supports me because on the field, if I make a bad play, I already know my family, they'll just support me no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. And what position do you feel is the, that you're the most confident in and which one pushes you the hardest? Wide receiver definitely pushes me the hardest because running back and forth, it gets you like winded. And then going um, back on the field on defense, it just – you have to be in shape. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, what's your favorite route to run as a receiver? Probably a uh, fade ball. Okay, yeah, yeah. Are you catching the ball up here? Are you meeting it up there? Are you catching like this? Or are you catching it with your chest? I'll go and meet the ball. I'll go and attack it. Okay, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, and what's your favorite thing as a linebacker? Would you rather get a sack or an interception or a hard hit? Probably a hard hit. Yeah. <laughs> How would you describe your team's chemistry and what role do you play in keeping them, you know, together? You know, my tenacity, like my motor, it just it it support it boosts the team's confidence and like we just we're unstoppable. Yeah. Um name us a play or a game that sticks out to you um from this season. Probably my last game. We lost. We lost that last game. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I hurt my heel, and I, I, my team just, it was like they didn't have the like the click. They wasn't clicking. Yeah. So what did you do to get them on point? I had to be vocal. Yeah, definitely. Um, what is your biggest challenge you faced as a football player? And how have you worked to overcome it? Definitely like the the comments. Yeah. The um comments. They like it it takes down your confidence, but like what like it when it motiv motivates you as hard work, you you know you um become a good player. Great. Player. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And how do you balance being a teenager, uh, school, practice, games, extra work, like even living your life, having fun. How do you balance that with football? It's not really a struggle because I'm I'm so used to doing it, like, consistently. Like, I'm, I'm so used to working every day. Yeah. What's the most important lesson that football taught you on the field and off the field? It definitely taught me how to be a man. And like to protect yourself. Yeah. Um. What 
What position would you focus on as you continue to grow? Do you continue want to play both sides or is it one that you're eventually going to want to just focus solely on? Definitely both sides. It probably it like it attracts attracts more attention than the college coaches. They're yeah. gonna edit and they're gonna be like, "Wow, this kid, this kid plays both. He's he he's unstoppable." Yeah, where where did you get that at to even think like that? To, so the point that you even think like that, it, it means and says a lot that you notice that that'll get you more looks, it'll get you more attention because a lot of people ain't doing you. Where did you get that from? Probably like Travis Hunter, Deion Sanders, and like the greats like that to play both ways. Yeah, definitely. Do you have goals for your high school football? I mean, do, for your junior high football team this year? Yeah, we, we want to get that championship. Yeah. Did you set yourself any goals before the season, and are you, you know, reaching them? Are you close? Yeah, I'm close. I'm getting closer. Uh, but next game, I might, I might need to have like five touchdowns. What's the most touchdowns you ever scored this season? Probably like three. Three. Yeah. You pulled a hat trick. You was, you was getting open on them boys. <laughs> Um, what advice would you give to young athletes who want to play multiple positions in football and be a dog like you? You just gotta have that mama mentality, like nothing is nothing can stop you. Yeah, yeah. And after football, you transition to basketball, you're a multi sports player as well. What do you love about basketball? Basketball, it just helped me it helped me stay in shape and just help help me focus. And like I love it. It just Yeah. What do you bring to the table? If I got legend on my team, what what's what's your skills? Like what's things that you good at and what things you need to work on? I need to work I need to work on my um my ball handling. That's one thing I need to work on. But everything besides that and my shooting. My shooting is like it's all right. I need it to be great though. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely, definitely. And what would your goals be? For the season coming up, um, individually and team wise, just to get the championship and help all my teammates become better. Yeah, definitely. And um, after a big game, a big win, where is Legend wanting to go get some need at? Probably Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A, yeah, definitely. Um, do you like wings? I love wings. So are you team flats or team drums? Drums. Drum, yeah. Um, dunks or Jordan ones? Dunks. Dunks. Um, Ray Lewis or Von Miller? Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And um, whatever comes to your heart, I want you to speak something positive to the youth. To all the undersized people, um just keep working keep your head down keep grinding because what it don't matter what nobody tell you like if you have that mentality nothing can stop you yeah definitely and when it's all said and done what type of player do you want people to remember legend by a player that has high motor um the tenacity and the skills Definitely, definitely. Well, we thank you, Legend. We're spotlighting you for your hard work on the field and off the field as well. Continue to be great. Continue to be that great leader you are on the field. May God continue to bless you. May he give you favor. Um, may you uh, be the best two-sport athlete in Carrollton. You know, may the things that you need to work on, may you work hard. May you continue to have that motor, continue to um, perfect your craft legend you have everything inside you that you need to be great so continue killing it continue to be that dog on the field that you are and continue to you know make your teammates proud and make them better sir yeah yeah ladies and gentlemen legend owens beat